Hi, I'm John Burton, designer of Barrel Rummy, a card game for two players. This video will show you how to play the game. All you need to play Barrel Rummy is a standard deck of playing cards without jokers, two position markers, one for each player, and a way to keep score. For position markers, you can use poker chips, game pieces, or even the unused joker cards. To get started, shuffle the deck and deal four cards to each player. Place the remaining deck on the table. This is known as the stock. Deal three cards face up in a row to the left of the stock, and three cards face up in a row to the right of the stock. This layout of cards is called the barrel, and the face up cards are called barrel cards. Place one player's marker just above the stock, and the other player's marker just below the stock. Randomly select the first player, and you're ready to begin. The object of the game is to collect sets of four card combinations that score points. Cards are collected by moving the player markers around the barrel into one of 14 positions, picking up the card wherever the marker lands, and replacing it with a card from the stock. Let's take a look at how a turn works. Each player's hand of cards is turned up for you to see. In a normal game, players keep their cards hidden from each other. A player's turn starts by discarding one card from their hand into the personal discard pile. The rank of this card determines how many spaces that player moves their marker. The number cards, ace through ten, where ace is always one, moves the marker the same number of spaces as the numerical rank of that discarded card. Player one discards a six of clubs. They may move either clockwise to the nine of diamonds position or counterclockwise to the three of hearts position. Royal cards, jacks, queens, or kings, would allow a player to move to any position they want around the barrel that is not occupied by a player at the start of the turn. Player one moves to the three of hearts position. Once the marker finishes moving, the player picks up the card at that marker's location, placing it in their hand. The picked up card is replaced with the top card of the stock. The turn ends and now it's the next player's turn. Player two discards the seven of hearts and moves to a position at the stock. If a marker lands at the stock, the player collects the top card of the stock and no cards need to be replaced. Player 1 discards the 8 of spades and moves counterclockwise to land on player 2's marker. If a player lands on the same position as their opponent, that opponent has to skip their turn, and the player is allowed another turn. This is called covering your opponent. Remember this can only happen if a number card is played. It is not legal to use a royal card to move on to another player's marker. During a player's turn, once they have picked up a card from the barrel, they may score a four card combo if they have collected the right cards. Picking up the ace of hearts, player one has formed a two pairs combo with aces and threes. A combo can be a straight, which is a sequence of four cards in order, a flush, which is four cards of the same suit, two pair, a three of a kind plus a royal card, a four of a kind, or a straight flush, a sequence of four cards in order, all of the same suit. To score a combo, a player places their hand face up so their opponent can see the combo, then places all four cards into their own discard pile. Depending on the type of combo made, bonus cards are drawn from the top of the stock and placed in the player's discard pile face up. Straights or flushes add one bonus card, two pairs add two cards, three of a kind plus royal adds three cards, four of a kind adds four cards, and a straight flush adds five bonus cards from the top of the stock. Player one scored a two pair, so they take two bonus cards from the top of the stock. The cards collected for combos are added to any cards discarded during play to be counted at the end of the round. Players score one point for each card in their discard pile at the end of the round. After the combo is discarded, the player draws four cards for their hand and replaces the card picked up from the barrel. Fast forwarding to the end of the round, player two plays the Jack of Hearts, which lets them move to any space they wish except for their current location or the other player's location. Picking up the seven of diamonds, player two completes a two pairs combination, discarding the hand, drawing two bonus cards for the two pair, then replacing their four card hand. Having taken the last card of the stock, the round ends immediately without any further moves, discards, draws, or scores. Players count the number of cards in their discard piles and add that number to their cumulative point total for the game. Player 1 scored 22 points, and Player 2 scored 17 points for the round. Player 1 is ahead in the game. Then all the cards are collected, shuffled, and dealt out for the next round. The player with the lowest cumulative point total takes the first turn in the next round. At the start of the game, the players decide a predetermined number of rounds to play, such as three rounds. 
At the end of the last round, the game ends. Player with the most points wins the game. And that's how you play Barrel Rummy. See the link in the description for a PDF copy of the rules, which includes some optional rule variants and a cutout reference card. There's also a link for a downloadable PlayingCards.io import file so you can play Barrel Rummy online with a friend. If you like this game or have any feedback on the rules, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching How to Play Barrel Rummy.